Um, we've themed this year's conference um, promoting healthy lifestyles and well-being. Uh, many of the conferences over the past years have been on infectious diseases and or communicable diseases. So this year, the planning committee of which I chair uh, decided to have a look at the various issues of uh, non-communicable diseases which touch um, on lifestyle. And um, so basically, we'll be looking at uh, various metabolic disorders um, and, and, and um, issues of stress. Um, all of which could impact on our work here. Uh, we're going to have um, addresses from the Regional Director of Health Service who will be looking at the various policies of the um, Ghana Health Service in terms of the SDG3 which addresses um, healthy lifestyles. And then um, the rest of the speakers are all within the college here. Uh, we'll have um, a talk on, on um, lifestyles in general, looking at uh, how they are impacted by um, um, non-communicable diseases such as hypertension, um, diabetes. There will also be some talk about how um, Galamse is impacting on some of these diseases um, by one of our senior lecturers in the Department of Medicine, um, Dr. Um, Tano. And then we'll zoom into the whole issue of this is also answer. Um, nutrition is important. We have many food staffs in this country. I believe that when we eat, it will impact positively on our lifestyles. But it's not just it. How we eat it, um, our portion sizes, etc. Um, so we'll have um, some talk on that. And then we all know how important mobility is. Uh, we need to exercise. Um, Ken UST as a university itself organizes these um, health um, work so um, regularly with aerobic sessions and we'll have a talk on why it is important that we exercise how much of it we need to be doing or how little of it we need to be doing to impact positively um, on our health. Um, then also um, we're going to have a talk by um, one of our mental health experts uh, who basically deal about um, issues of stress at the workplace, what we need to do to impact positively on our health so far as um, these issues um, are concerned. And so this is how this um, uh, YES conference is going to be and also importantly we have decided that the second of the conference will also be left to our Department of Physiotherapy and Sports Science who will be taking us through a short exercise session so that we can all exercise our limbs before the end of the um, conference. We are grateful for your attendance. We want to the, the planning committee, we want to thank the provosts and the management of the committee um, for selecting this committee to plan the conference. With our hope that whatever we gather here will impact positively on our lives. We wish you well during the two days of this conference and we believe that together as a university, you will all be healthy in the years ahead. Thank you. I'm Professor Peter Donko from the Department of Surgery. Uh, I was appointed Provost of the College of Health Sciences in 2007. Uh, when I became Provost, uh, I had as part of my vision the initiation of a, a scientific conference for the college and uh, the rationale behind that was to create a platform for both staff and students to be able to uh, present the research that they were undertaking uh, to other members to get their input uh, to improve on this research and also possibly convert them into uh, scientific papers. Uh, the, at the time, there were not too many opportunities uh, to present uh, scientific papers. Many people uh, thought that they had always had to go abroad, but the money to go abroad was, was lacking. Uh, and so uh, we, I thought that this, this would be an important opportunity for 
members of the college, students and staff to be able to do that. Uh, in, in the course of time, uh, this, this gained uh, uh, prominence and uh, there's a great deal of interest shown. Uh, and uh, I remember the intention was to have it every year. Uh, and in fact, uh, when I was provost, that is what was happening. But I think it became a bit of a, 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 a demand on the calendar. So later on, I think it was it became by annual, uh, which I think is good, uh, so that people could also fit in other other programs. Uh, the the idea also was to put KUSC on the map, and especially the College of Health Sciences on the map, so that the college will have a brand of its own. A conference that others will find interesting uh, to also join from all over the world uh, and also from elsewhere in Ghana. Uh, I think the, the idea of uh, such a scientific platform is just to encourage a constant exchange of ideas, scientific and otherwise, uh, to help advance our knowledge as, as academics, as a university. As a, as a country to give us new insights into how we can improve the things that we do all the time. Uh, so really that is that is a, that was a thinking behind it. Uh, I'm very proud of how this conference has performed over the years. Uh, all subsequent provosts have actually embraced it and, and made it grow uh, year after year and uh, interest keeps getting larger and larger and I, and I hope as we move forward, that, that it's going to be the health conference to, to attend uh, on everybody's calendar, uh, both in Ghana and uh, beyond. The College of Health Sciences was established in January 2005 after the restructuring of the university into a college system in the year 2004. The college has five faculties and schools, namely School of Medicine and Dentistry, Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, School of Veterinary uh, Medicine, Faculty of Allied Health Sciences, and School of Public Health. The college, with respect to staff strength, the college is having over 270 teaching staff. In addition to the numerous um, part-time or adjunct lectures that we use when it comes to the training of our students in the various health facilities and also on the main campus. We also have a number of support staff in the college. When you add the support staff with those on contract and then those who are doing research we are the number is almost over 400 together with the full-time staff the college has two research uh, centers namely kccr and then gwac gwac be, being the latest when it comes to the research output the college has been the college with the highest number of research uh, publications or outputs. Based on the last edition of the Quality Assurance Bulletin, the college contributed more than 50% of research um, publications that were produced in the university. In terms of grants attraction, the college continues to be the leading college when it comes to research grants attraction. In uh, the last or the recent research week celebration, the college was adjudged as the best research college. In terms of students' numbers, with the current registered students, we are a little over 9,000 students with respect to the 2022-2023 academic year. In terms of living up to the vision and the mission of the college and that of the university, the college has been the, the main um, college in the university producing quality graduates when it comes to healthcare professionals, including doctors, pharmacists, etc. And then we also conduct 
quality and relevant research. And these research outputs have been contributing to solving global relevant health challenges that uh, we've been having. Our researchers and then teaching staff have been serving on several boards and then committees right from the global level to the university-wide um, level. The college over the years with the support from the various provosts who have been in office and uh, management members have been living up to expectation, especially with the support that we've been having from our various deans and management members. We've been leading in terms of the mandate of the university in all aspects. I also want to take this opportunity to uh, appreciate all the staff, including teaching and non-teaching staff, in achieving all these um, tasks and activities. We are hoping that in the next years ahead, we will live up to expectation and also achieve beyond what is expected from the college. The college board approved the organization of the College Biennial Conference over 20 years ago. And these biennial conferences have been organized with the last edition being the ninth one which was held in the year 2021 with the team COVID-19. The health challenge for the last decade the role of healthcare professionals. And this was well attended with several presentations. And here come the 10th edition, which is being held now, with the team on well-being and healthy living. And I believe this is appropriate since there's a steady rise in the cardiovascular diseases that the nation has been confronted with. Now it doesn't matter the class or the, um, the living standard of the individual Ghanaian. These cardiovascular diseases have been associated with the way that we live and then our lifestyles. So the college deems it appropriate for us to select this tea so that we can speak to it and also inform Ghanaians as to how we can reduce these cardiovascular diseases and also improve upon our healthy living. This invariably is going to reduce the health cost or the cost of managing uh, diseases when it comes to the curative part, but this is also going to help with the preventive part and also the health promotion part. And at the end of the day, it's going to benefit the nation and reduce the cost of health financing and also improve the lifespan of people with quality living. Thank you.